hello everyone welcome back in this video let's understand how a child uh, can share the data to the parent using view child uh, this is one more way of uh, sharing the data from child pay child uh, component to the parent component and um, before that uh, let's understand what is um, view child and how a parent can get hold of the child component variables and methods and uh, this is one more way of sharing the data from child component to parent component and a view child uh, can be applied to a uh, plain html attributes like a span tag or div tag and uh, also it can be applied to a angular directive uh, directly and um, even we can apply the view child to its uh, uh, child components as well So let's start with how we can apply the view child to uh, native uh, HTML um, uh, attributes like a span tag on the div tag. Okay, let's start with that one. So right now I just created an um, application, Angular 17 application. And if you see it is plain application, there is just a navigation bar with the name and there is nothing else. So let's start right by writing the Angular um, attribute level uh, view child feature. So let me take a div and I'll just um, align the content text align center and within this. Let's add a bigger content so that it will be easy to view. So I'm adding a anchor tag. Uh, maybe I'll add welcome back to US Learning Hub and I'll add a ID for this. So this is the plain HTML. Um, anchor tag and now right now it is under app component so what i'll do is i'll try to uh, under app component meaning it is the child of app component so let's get hold of this child um, in the app component so to use view child what we need to do is we have to use view child and uh, the name of the child this is plain html content so but we are getting it uh, we are getting hold of this um, with the help of uh, its uh, id and so it since it is a plain uh, html element to get hold of it we need to use html um, element reference so that it will get hold of this particular text okay and uh, what we can do is um, we'll simply add a button under this okay click to change color what we'll do is within this button when we click it we'll change the color of the text above with uh, by using um, using view child okay so now I have this so, so within this I'll get hold of the welcome text dot native element dot um, I think to set the style we need uh, one more um, constructor we need and within the constructor we need to get hold of the render renderer is used to set styles to a text renderer version 2 that we need to use okay now welcome text dot native element comma what we can say is we'll change the color and uh, we'll say red color but this will this won't directly apply to the 
uh, welcome text instead we need to use this renderer dot set style okay now within this set style we should set this content so that it will be applied okay so right now if you see this is plain okay let me just put this push this button to the bottom let me just get off this out well, let me add a, just a hr tag to be clear okay now when i click this one the color of the text is going to change see now the welcome back to us learning hub the color changed to red because within the parent component i am i am able to within the parent parent is app component within the app component i am able to get hold of this particular text by using view child so this is a text id i am using view child why it is view child because it is part of the app component and it is under app app component so this will become a um, um, child to this particular app component that's why i'm able to get hold of it by using view child on that particular text id the id that i used here and i am able to set color for this particular one um, to this text and what we can do is we can even replace that text by using um, inner html to replace it i don't think we need a renderer so we can say native element dot inner html equal to replacing welcome text okay and now let's see see replacing welcome text so i am able to get hold of this text using view child and i am able to replace the content i am able to set the color for that so this is how you can uh, use the view child for a native html attribute so now let's understand how we can apply view child to a directive and how we can get hold of the directive content uh, in the parent uh, component using uh, view child okay so first and foremost thing um, i'll just uh, take a span tag and i'll just push this total content again to the center div style text align center and uh, within this div i'll keep this uh, span tag so what i'll do is within this is my favorite food and i can i'll get the favorite food from the directive this is just a plain span tag right now if you see this content is just displayed there is nothing other than that now let's create a directive using angular schematics okay ng generate directive and the directive name would be food so now the directive is created if you see food directive this is the directive that is created okay so and uh, this is the name that we need to use to get hold of the directive and what i'll do is i'll set this directive here okay right now it won't apply anything it's not going to apply anything because there is nothing in the directive so what i'll do is in this directive um I'll just add a favorite word field. We'll 
using viewchair will get hold of this one this is the favorite food to get hold of this particular span tag okay what we need to do is basically when we use this um, directive automatically this whole span tag will be pa pa it will a uh, directive will get hold of the whole span tag using element so within this element basically element reference will get so this is a span tag element reference and we need a renderer under version 2 and uh, now I can get hold of the element and perform some action so that the same action will be applied on the um, this particular span tag and it will be displayed along with this content okay what I'll do is here element dot um, I'll add uh, some text to this create text Oh, I, th I think sorry with the renderer we can create a text and create text I'll set my favorite food as pasta here okay and let Think this is the text that I created. Now I can apply this same text to the um, span tag using append child, and this is the text that I wanted to append to what I to which element I wanted to append. I wanted to append to the element element span tag element and uh, for that I need to say native element now within this when we display this span tag okay since we added a directive it will perform some additional action or it will add some additional feature to this span tag so we will get the span tag here and within the span tag what we are doing we are appending using the renderer we are appending this text which is pasta Let's see how this is going to be rendered onto the UI. Now, if you see, pasta is my favorite food. This is displayed. Let me just increase the content to view it easily. okay now if you see pasta is my favorite food but uh, pasta came from this particular directive okay within the directive we are getting hold of the span tag and we are creating a plain text content and appending it as a child to this particular span tag so because of that reason that the pasta value came onto the came here in front the pasta value came in front of is my favorite food okay right now as so far we didn't use any uh, um, view child okay now let's try to get hold of the view child and get hold of the direct to method uh, but direct to property favorite food okay we'll try to get hold of this one using view child okay now within this to get hold of the directive you child of the directive food directive I wanted to get hold of the food directive okay and set uh, for this set the name that we have to use is app food okay app food and for this we get the directive which is food directive and 
now I have this value as director dot favorite food so with this is how we can I can get all of the favorite food from the directive and now I can say empty and here this dot food equal to directive food whatever the favorite food that is here the biryani okay right now what we are doing when the app component we are getting hold of the food directive which is this directive using view child and getting hold of the food directive and its field okay and we are using this one here let's display this in the parent component so maybe we'll display under this okay let's see whether it is rendered now if you, see, if you see chicken biryani this is rendered but this value is not part of the directive if you see let's expand the app out and let's go to the angular injection tree so this is how you can check within the app component we have a food directive it is a child food directive is child of the app component okay just to see the view this and the next thing is within the elements chicken biryani is here okay okay if you see this directive is poor directive portion is only until this here until here only this pan tag but the chicken biryani is outside this pan tag okay which is part of the parent component but the actual value is coming from the directive app food okay that's how we got hold of the um, directive field in uh, the parent component using view child So now let's check how we can apply the view child for a child component, actual component. So first before we go for that, let's create a child component since we don't have any child components right now. So I'm using Angular schematics and I create a child component. Okay. I should be in the root uh, project folder. So now that the child component is created, okay, now I can use that child, app child here, okay, right now if you see child works but there is nothing, let me just push this content to again center. And uh, I'll just keep this here. So now the content came into the middle. Now what I'll do is how we can get hold of it. Right now, uh, first we'll go to the child component. App uh, child component. Okay, within this component, what we will do is we will add couple of methods get uh, welcome message and within this we will return welcome back to from child component okay right now this particular method is in child component okay also we'll add one field name also okay uh, we'll say name name equal to shiva okay so now these this particular field as well as the message method these two are 
within the child component let's get hold of these two methods from the child and use it in the parent okay so the parent of course it is um, app component and if you want to see within the angular tab you see app root app child so this is the parent and this is the child and even you can see the structure of the component right now so within the app component there is a child component okay we are looking at this is part of the child component this is child component is part of the pay app component this is how it is represented okay router outlet, outlet will be by default it is part of any component so it is it is child for any component so the one that we created is child component okay just for your uh, understanding i'm showing this okay now so since this is a child component how we can get hold of the child component in the parent is this is a parent using view child within the view child directly we have to refer the child component and child component and the type of the component is child component type okay So by default angular um, configuration that we added it will throw the error unless we use it until we use it so for that reason i just added okay now what we can do is um, i'll add a button click and within this i'll call the child component component dot name so this is the name this is how i can get hold of the child component name what we have in the child component it is shiva okay so that value we'll get and here this dot name equal to this one so this name we are getting it from the child i'm just defining a name here empty name to get hold of the name value in the parent right now this value name value is coming from the child and at the same time what i'll do is i'll call the other method welcome message method from the child so the name is coming from child welcome message is coming from child uh, here the welcome message I'll assign it to message property and now i can use this name and message in the parent which is app component html now let me just um, print this instead of this name and the welcome message what is it it's a message okay let's see name does not exist on child component okay there is a name why is it not exist oh okay 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 got it now i understand why it is not displayed in the parent why because i added it in the click event I need to write a button to click that so that it will be visible. Okay, so now to see this content, let me just add a button. Just add this button within here and click to see child content then for this particular function uh, button i'll add a click event and the event name should be this one sorry not this one click event 
now so when i click this button it will get the content from the child and it display on the parent okay now you see this particular message came from child but rendered onto the parent okay let's see if you see this is app child okay if i close this one okay this particular content that you are seeing this is part of the parent which is which is app route and if you see this is under the parent not under the child okay so under the child only this content is there but these this particular content that i am displaying it is under the parent component not on the child component but the data came from the child component so this is how we can share the data from the child component to the parent component using view child got it let's just understand one more time so this is a child component there is a name shiva and the message in the child component and we are calling and within the parent component when i click the button i am getting hold of the child name as well as the function because i am able to get hold of the child using view child so because it is a type child component that's why i am using this type and i get hold of the child component and when i click the button on the ui it is getting the name of the child component name field as well as the welcome message and these two are part of the parent and i am using these two to display on the page this is how the view child works with the components so these are the three different ways we can apply the view child first one is to a native html um, element second one is to directly apply for the child component and third way to, uh, is we can apply the view child to a uh, directive and still we can get hold of the direct directive fields or methods in the parent component that's all from this video thank you see you in the next video